Hi my beautiful Cancers and welcome to my channel. This is going to be your October the 2nd until the 9th, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. So for those of you that are new, welcome, and those of you that are returning, I'm so glad to have you back. If you are new and you haven't yet subscribed, feel free to subscribe as that is always greatly appreciated. For those of you that are interested in daily content, I will be uploading on Instagram a daily card. Um, so for those of you that are following me on Instagram or that want to, the link will be in the description box below and based on whoever is following me, I will we'll pick energies every day. Um, other than that, everything you need for personal readings will be in the description box below. If you guys are interested in extendeds, leave me a comment in the um, comment section and I will be looking through those for the next couple of weeks. But yeah, so let me just get started with your tarot and then I'll pull you guys some oracle cards. So what can we get for the beautiful Cancers? October 2nd to the 9th. Show me what Cancers need to see, please. October 2nd. Oh, Ten of Hazards. Wow. All right. Stability is in focus, whether this is stability within your own self, stability within a relationship. Cancer. Two of Hazards. All right, I definitely sense that there's a lot of things going on right now, but I feel like you're really good at handling it. I feel like you're the very, you know, you're the stable one, you're the mother, you're the, you know, the one that is dealing with a million things, but does it so calmly that it seems like she's doing nothing or it seems like he's doing nothing. So other people ask you to do things, you know, it's like, there's just a lot going on, but at the same time, you, you got it, but just make sure you're doing things for yourself. Make sure you're taking time for yourself, too. Cancer. The lovers. I'm sensing you might be making a decision. The world, for some of you, there's a relationship that's coming to an end and you're choosing to be with somebody new. There is, you know, a relationship that could have felt like it was, you know when a relationship moves too quickly sometimes, and sometimes because it moves so quickly, you don't really know who you're really getting into a relationship with, and then once you do, you realize that things become really dull really quickly, or you guys start to argue, or it just becomes routine, you know, that spark just fades away here. So it's like for some of you, there is an ending here. Um, and you might have been holding on, well, you know, this is fixed energy, you could have been dealing with a Taurus, um, a Leo, a Scorpio, or an Aquarius here. But, yeah, so if there was something that was just draining your energy, and you just feel like you wanted something new and something fresh, I definitely feel like the Divine has brought in a new lover for you, and you may be ending a relationship to start a new one. And if this hasn't happened, this is definitely something that could be happening this week. Some of you could be meeting somebody through travel, meeting somebody online. The High Priestess. Some of you could be meeting somebody new and keeping it as a secret until you decide what you want to do. For others of you, this could be the person that you're dealing with. You know, Take it how it does resonate here, but there is a secret involved here. There is a secret. The Higher Fence. Somebody could be committed and having... Um, there could be a third-party situation going on here. A secret within a marriage, a secret within a commitment. A secret that only a therapist knows. That could be just for one of you. Six of Swords. It looks like there's going to be some sort of action being taken in order to move forward here. If there was an ending due to a secret, it does look like, you know, maybe that secret's going to come out and you guys may decide to move, you know, towards a time where you're going to be more open and more honest with each other here because I do sense you know somebody's coming around wanting to make things even wanting to make things equal wanting to give an equal you know give and take balance here somebody's you know pleading like saying sorry trying to beg for forgiveness here this could be somebody from the past the four of swords here it's like somebody realized that they've done wrong here there could definitely have been you know or somebody's thinking about the good times about the past times that they had with somebody before things were ruined nine of swords yeah it's like if somebody is coming back towards you i definitely sense that you're going to be really guarded you're going to be thinking and you know hope not hoping but thinking and maybe dreaming 
or mesmerized, like just fantasizing about being with this person again. But because of what they've done, it's like you, you won't be able to trust them. You won't be able to give them another chance. You're very, very cautious towards giving this person another chance. And for some of you, this is this person towards you here. The Fool. So it does look like if there was, you know, some sort of secret about a third party, you are going to be taking a new leap of faith by yourself and just focusing on yourself. You are going to be, you know, reborn is almost what I'm sensing because we have the world and the, the Fool here. So a new beginning here. So whether this is you taking a new beginning with that person from the past, some of you, this could have been a person that you were dating and you found out they were in a long-term, you know, connection. But others of you, this is, um, you know, just yourself, just taking a new, a new stand and really being reborn because it does look like you are going to be going through some healing. Some of you could decide to travel, do some things to expand your mind, expand, you know, the way you see things and just kind of do some things to free yourself. You are feeling very free and you don't feel like you have, you know... It's almost like you wanted a relationship really badly, but now it's like you're enjoying the freedom that being that comes with being single. So you're enjoying this. And for some of you, you could have been fearing it before you had fully healed. You were fearing being single, but now it's like the greatest thing that could have happened for you. We have the three of wands here. So definitely travel is a huge, a huge thing here. Some of you guys are going to be going on your first vacation. Some of you may be moving traveling, um, moving to another city, moving to another country here. It's like taking a new start towards things that you want to do, towards things that you want to manifest, being, you know, fearless. Queen of Hazards, yeah, you're going to be focusing on yourself, focusing on your finances, focusing on, you know, building up your stability within yourself. It's like you really were taking care of so many things and so many other people. And maybe for some of you, it's just that, this had just broke, broken you down because you were taking care of too many things. Now you're going to be focusing on yourself, building your own stability. You're going to be creating, you know, a really good work environment. If you're not in the greatest work environment, you could be switching to a new job. If you are going through a divorce and you're wondering if how you're going to, you know, if you're going to be well off financially, I definitely sense that you are. The King of Wands here. So it looks like there's going to be a new passion and energy that is going to be, you know, coming in. It's like there's this energy that's coming in because you're so focused on your work and you're so focused on your goals and what it is that you want to achieve in life. And you're just so focused on your independence here. There's this new passionate, fun energy coming in to show you, you know, how to have a good time still. To show you to bring out your more passionate side here because it's like after the situation, you're really just going to be like, for wanting to forget about love for some of you or just wanting to not even bother with it, avoid it and just put all your energy into, you know, your career or into your own stability. So it's like somebody's coming in to show you like you can still socialize and have fun. Like, you know, I'll give you a, gift, a good time. You can give me a good time kind of energy. It's like it is more casual, but I do sense that there is potential for something serious, but it is going to start off more casual here. This person is definitely well established. Could be around the same age as you. The Hermit. So you could be dealing with a Virgo. It's like there's a lot of people that are trying to get your attention here, but you are just so focused on yourself and your inner healing here. It's not just that this one person wants to come in. There are other people that are interested in you. You may have this one person that you decide to hang out with for a little while or that you decide to, you know, start something casual with. But, you know, there are still going to be other options here for you. Um, I feel like if you, around the 9th, something, something's telling me like around the 9th, if you feel like on October 9th, if you feel like staying in, I definitely sense go outside. I feel like if you go to places, you know, even places that you don't normally go to, you could meet somebody new here. Um, and I am sensing like soulmate energy, somebody that you will really grow and evolve with here. All right, so I have Gemini, Sagittarius, Taurus, uh, Libra, and Aquarius, and Virgo.
All right, so Cancer's dealing with, oh. Okay. Cancer's dealing with a Gemini. So if you are dealing with a Gemini, it looks like you're going to be walking away from this person due to their in and out energy, their inability to commit. All right, Cancer's dealing with the Sagittarius. So if you're dealing with the Sagittarius, Four of Cups, so yeah, with the World card here. Um, I am sensing that if you are dealing with the Sagittarius, that there is going to be an ending and they're going to still try to offer you to get back or reach out to you and try to fix the situation, but you're just not going to... It's like you're whatever happened to end this, you're just completely done and over with the situation. All right, Cancer is dealing with a Libra. If you're dealing with the Libra, Four of Swords here. If you're dealing with the Libra, it looks like you're going to have to heal from the situation. It may take you about four weeks to do this healing here, but it's like there is some sort of secret that's trying to come out. Definitely, like the energy here is like you will find out this information, or this information, you know, is something that you already know within your intuition. You could find out this information through meditating, just through taking some time alone, just allow your thoughts, you know, you need to be able to tap into your energy. Some of you could do, um, like you could get a reading or something. It's like you need to be able to tap into your energy to find this secret. And for others of you, it's like you already know what is hidden. You just need to be able to trust your intuition. It's really just that simple. All right, and if you're dealing with a Taurus, Cancer and Taurus, All right, if you're dealing with a Taurus, wow, it looks like they're going to be coming to offer you um, stability here. It looks like there's going to be, you know, this could have been a really long journey here, but with the 10 or with the Knight of Coins going to the 10 of Coins, it's like this person is finally coming to offer you a commitment or you guys are moving to the next level within the commitment that you're already in. But there's a huge, you know, focus on stability. For some of you, this is a marriage or wedding proposal because this is, you know, um, clarifying the Hierophant here. And for Cancer, is dealing with an Aquarius. If you're dealing with an Aquarius, the star. If you're dealing with an Aquarius, I definitely sense that there's going to be a lot of healing within this situation. Um, there's going to be, you know, a new start with an Aquarius for some of you, and it's going to be really intimate and really passionate. There's going to be a lot of healing that's going to take place. And the two of you guys are really going to evolve spiritually with each other. Cancer is dealing with a Virgo. Cancer and Virgo. And if you're dealing with a Virgo, then we have the King of Cups here. So it looks like this person is going to be expressing their emotions towards you. It looks like they've been holding in a lot more than, you know, they've been saying to you, this person has a lot of emotions and they're finally about to express it here. This could be because you have withdrawn from them due to the fact that they're not expressing themselves, but this person is finally ready to communicate with you. All right, so let me pull you guys some wisdom oracles. Cancer from the second to the ninth. We have not for you. Some of you need to trust your intuition to know what's for you and what's not for you, right? Sometimes it's just knowing when enough is enough. Sometimes it's knowing that, yes, you did want someone or you did want something at one point, but you know what? You've evolved and you realize that you deserve and you are worth more. And even if that means letting that go and finding yourself and being alone for a little bit, you know, in the end, you're going to find somebody that is more, you know, aligned with you, somebody who matches you and time for a nap. Definitely with all this healing energy here and just isolation energy, it's like, I definitely sense that everything you need to know is within your own, you know, mind already. And you just need to, you know, instead of going to other people for answers, I sense that if you go to yourself and you take time by yourself, you know, write, just get in tune with your thoughts. You will definitely find out everything that you need to know. And then let's pull some angel answers. All right. Meditation brings answers. Like I said, take some time. That one was clear as day. 
And then we have within the next few weeks, yeah, like I said earlier, within four weeks, it's like you're going to be taking some time, but you're going to find out so much information. And I feel like you're going to really flourish when you come out of this. And whether this is you, you know, creating this stability for yourself, or this is a person coming in to offer you the stability with them, you know, by the end of this week, I definitely sense that things are really going to be taking a huge turn towards the best. So yeah, that is what I have for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. If you did and you would like a personal, my website is listed in the description box below. If you haven't yet subscribed, feel free to subscribe and I will see you guys next week. Bye my loves.